moving day shirt. I never thought this day would come. <laughs> oh my god. I'm speechless. You think everything can fit? No way. What? What do you mean? It kind of looks bigger than I thought. Really? smaller than I thought. Really? Damn. Sorry if we like wear the same t-shirts like every freaking day. It's like I'm living out of the suitcase and I just wash the same clothes. So yeah. We are almost done. Probably not even because we probably have to like rearrange it. But... Yeah, we're like halfway done. But basically my mom has this friend who was going to move to Georgia and she got a storage unit here and she got really sick and had to go back to Texas and she lives in Dallas yeah in Dallas and being my mom she <laughs> offered us to move her stuff back to Dallas on the way to Austin she's not on the way at all so we're gonna have to stick a pit stop in Dallas for a day to drop all of her stuff off and that's actually what we're having trouble with, trying to fit it all onto this 15-foot U-Haul right now. So, if you're wondering why we're in Dallas, we'll do a little Dallas vlog, I think. We'll be there for, what, two hours? No, I'll be there for, like, seven hours. Because we're going to unload all of it, and my mom must go visit her in her little oh, hospital. Good. And, um, while she's visiting, we can go to downtown Dallas, like, eat and look around. It's pretty yeah. cool there, apparently. I've been there once, and I don't remember it that much. And, uh, yeah, I've never been there either. Yeah, so could have seen where I was gonna live. I almost took a job in Dallas. Right now we're on the way to her storage unit, so we're gonna try to see if things can fit. And like, we keep forgetting about that white kitchen cabinet thing. It's so pretty, by the way. Oh my god, I'm like very excited to show you like the actual before and after. I've been putting it in my most recent vlogs because I've been like updating you guys on it, but it's gonna be done super soon, so I'll show you guys that. Um, probably later today. We ran into a bit of an issue. What was it? That it rained for like a uh, second. <laughs> it was downpouring, but now it cleared up. I had a feeling that it was only gonna be five seconds. But we are now gonna show you the finished product of the, um, damn it. <laughs> Can we find out what this thing is called? Okay, kitchen cabinet thing. Painted and re- Redone by Mimo. Oh, So I had no idea that she was slacking so bad on the vlogs today. But basically we're in the middle of Alabama somewhere. Yeah. Because we're today we moved to Texas today. Technically not though. So like he said, we're in the middle of Alabama. We aren't technically moving to Texas today um, because we're stopping in NOLA. I've never been in New Orleans. Uh, how do you say it? New Orleans. No. Oh. I think I've, I think I've always said New, New Orleans. Orleans. I'm not sure this is hot. Yeah, it's hot. I just asked you guys to send me recommendations for NOLA on my Instagram stories. So we shall have a fun yeah. vlog coming up and I'm probably going to do a separate vlog just for New Orleans, New Orleans, whatever. Um, but let's talk about what happened yesterday. Ryan messed his new car up. Like so, really yeah. bad. At least it was like so. If you watch that video. I'll replay it. Let's do an instant replay right here. Let's loop it, the scraping noise. <laughs> it's gonna be my new ringtone. It's, it's like, so oh. it's so cringy. Like you yeah, like kinda like jump and you're like, oh my gosh. And like I don't really even care about cars that much. But I like I just holy got crap. this BMW. Literally it's like brand new. And I I'm towing it so I don't have to put the miles, ruin my tires, 
and like just do the wear and tear on it. Mm-hmm. And then I mess it up more by towing it. But as soon as I pull it up on that ramp for U-Haul, like he's telling me to keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. And I just hear it scraping all across my bottom. So then he's like, oh, you back it up. Never mind. <laughs> so I back it up and I hear everything ripping off the bottom of my car. So I get out and there's like pieces of my car on the ground. I get under my car, there's wires hanging out. It's on the, it's on the U-Haul still right now. Yeah. His mom was like, do you want just want to drive it? Like, I don't want to like ruin your car even more, but I'm glad you were like, okay, we just need to like. Well, I was like, I already that. ruined it. Let's just ruin it some more. Like, <laughs> fuck it. If I'm, gonna, if I'm gonna pay for it to get fixed, let's pay for it to get fixed. Like, yeah, that's true. What happened to it though? Nothing. There's some like wires on the bottom hanging out, but I don't think it's anything like serious. Like vinyl pulled off of it, you said? Yeah, so like the bottom of it has just like aerodynamic like covers to cover everything from like rain and mm-hmm. wind and the mm-hmm. weather. And some of that ripped off and like just scratched up pretty bad. I don't think it's that bad, really. I mean, I don't know. We'll figure it, it out. I'm going to take, I'm gonna so take it to BMW when I get there. And yeah. It's not going to be good. But. We have about three more hours for this drive. Hopefully they go by fast. because I like to give myself wiggle time and I he, he likes to just shave I'll everything shave off. Like, I get to the airport with my flag leaves. <laughs> Ryan, like, always, whenever we were doing long distance in college, I'd be like, oh my god, I'm seeing you on Friday and it's Monday, so it's like five days. And then he's like, no, babe, that's like three days. And I'm like... Because the day right now doesn't count. <laughs> yes, it does. The day I see you doesn't count. Yes, it does. So it's three days. Like, no, that's not how it works. Because then I just get uh, so tomorrow, excited. The next, day, the next day, then I see you, so it's three days. I just get so excited, and I feel like, I don't know, I just don't like to do it that way. So we're not actually staying in New Orleans, um, the city, because we have to park this freaking U Haul, and apparently it's hard to park there, right? Yeah, it's just like trying to park like, in a parking garage in New York City or something. This is just like meters, and we have this like 25 foot truck. So it's gonna be kind of difficult to like find somewhere to park. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna try to stay in like the outskirts of New Orleans and just like a hotel so we can park it somewhere. And just pray it doesn't get broken into while we're gone. Yeah. The other night, Ryan's brother and his girlfriend and um, his friend and his mom were putting such bad thoughts into my head. They're the type of people that like think of every little thing that could happen to something. And I'm like, not naive, but like. Well, you're like a. Yeah, I guess optimist. So I don't really think of like all the negative things that could happen to our U-Haul. And they were like telling me that like somebody could just literally cut the U-Haul open with a knife. I was like, who even thinks about that first of all? But like, aren't there like knives or like even like, um, what's it called? The Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, not bolt cutter, but it's like um, really, really hot and it can cut through metal. Yeah, I guess. I don't I mean, know. If we're gonna weld this shit open, like they have it. <laughs> just some tables in there early on. <laughs> I know. And then Miss Brenda was like, hopefully they'll see like the lady stuff in front. Like uh, yeah. the lady that we're taking her stuff that we're taking to Dallas. Cause it's like just, to get like, hers some, out first, yeah. Yeah, just some like, random shit. Yeah, it's like not like I'm not sure she needs it. <laughs> Anyways, so it's just random stuff in the front, but then all of our like our stuff is in the back, so hopefully oh, we have the they see it. Like, anything really valuable in here, right? Like, yeah, I mean... My car... Yeah. We'll be in Austin, so no one in my car, but I have, like, a $2,500 speaker dad gave us, my Yeti, my golf clubs, like, every piece of clothing I own. Yeah, yeah, I know. I was thinking this morning, I was like, holy crap, like, all of his clothes are in his car. What if, like, something happens and he has to buy, like, a whole new wardrobe? At least his shoes are in my car, and he has so many shoes. I think he he definitely shoes. They're just big, so don't fit in the box. Mm, That's a good point, honestly, because a lot of mine are like flat. You know, that's a good point. Like three pairs of boots, it's in one box. 
Okay, but still, you have like a crazy amount of shoes and you definitely beat me out. Mine took up like a way smaller box than you, but yours like filled it up. It was overflowing. There's one pin of shoes this big. <laughs> like, like, what am I supposed to do? Like, <laughs> that's true, I guess. But we're probably gonna end the vlog here. Um, I wanna do a whole separate vlog of New Orleans. If it turns out good, I'm not sure what the weather is going to look like. And I'm not even sure what all we're going to do. So if it's like vlog worthy, I will totally vlog it for you guys. But I'm going to end the vlog here. And I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye.